And heading out right now, maybe you're going to get the gas, uh, to get that card filled. Get the car filled. There we go. <laughs> As you take a look right now over Arlington, you've got a, a nice, quiet weather morning to do so. It's warm though, 83 degrees, breezy conditions. As we are seeing south winds up to 13 miles an hour, and no cloud cover to get in the way of that sunrise. But I want to talk about it. The fact that today does get a little bit hotter than the past couple days, and that is why we do have that heat advisory in effect starting at noon. It lasts till tomorrow night. 104 is our four. Forecast. And by the way, this is going to make for 19 consecutive triple digit days. It has been just, of course, a relentless stretch here over the past several weeks. We're going to see it again today. Feels like temperatures of 106 to 107, not out of the question. Fast forward to tomorrow where we're still under that heat advisory. It is because those feels like temperatures are at least up to 105 plus in your Thursday afternoon as well. High pressure, of course, is the culprit here. And that area of high pressure is parked back around the panhandle of Texas. It's going to stay close by into the next several days. What's actually going to happen, though, Friday and into your weekend is that ridge kind of builds across the central plains. So it's not completely overhead, but it is close by. And wrapping around that ridge will be a couple of disturbances. So we'll see those uh, areas of energy to move in. We're also watching as some of our moisture ramps up. So all of that to say there are rain chances, even if they're low, they are going to make an appearance by tomorrow, about a 10% chance of rain, especially north and east of DFW. By Friday, we're watching isolated showers develop east of I-35. And again, on Saturday, it's a very low rain threat there, about a 10% chance that you would see an isolated shower. So fingers crossed, but yes, these rain chances will stay pretty limited as we round out the work week and we will continue with drier conditions by the time we get to Sunday. Your first alert seven day forecast does show those temperatures near 100 Saturday and Sunday, and we're still there in the triple digits as we head into the second week of August. Are Guys, we, are we ever going to get out of the triple digits? I don't think One so. day. Never I mean, maybe when the NFL season starts September 10th, maybe. maybe.